Hey everyone, welcome back to Theory of Machine. So today we are going to start with mechanisms with lower pair. This is a like untouched portion from where sometimes in case of objective examination they have asked few questions. So uh, mechanism with lower pair we will be mainly studying about a mechanism formed with only link and binary or tertiary or any type of lower uh, pair joints and using this there are different mechanisms which are approximately straight line mechanism or straight line mechanism means from complete mechanism there is a one link which travels in straight line or approximately straight line only names of such mechanisms are uh, important from competitive exam point of view in case of your uh, semester you might be studying in depth so the straight line mechanism it includes Hertz mechanism second is grasshopper mechanism third is Roberts mechanism so these are primarily uh, three type of mechanisms used and uh, there is a one fourth also Scott Russian mechanism so Roberts mechanism is something which is uh, having a problem either to be included in uh, approximate or straight line mechanism there is a debate going on and uh, there is approximate straight line mechanisms so why approximate straight line mechanism because this mechanism seems to be performing a straight line but at a larger distance you can find a slighter deviation so these are the lines having radius not equals to infinity but quite large so such are watts indicator this was designed by sir james watt to give a clear indication in the steam pressure so the mechanism was something like this These are the markings. And this is a piston in a cylinder arrangement. And here steam was being added from the boiler. This is a fixed support. So this link Q was in straight line, approximately straight line. It was used to uh, measure the steam pressure inside the boiler then is Chebyshev uh, you can correct this spell uh, Chebyshev mechanism is also a straight line mechanism approximate straight line mechanism then there is pentograph this pentograph are quite uh, useful uh, those are having four bar mechanism where one point is being fixed and they are used to uh, generate a similar surface I mean a similar diagram so let's say you are having this diagram and you need to replicate it here so just attach pentograph here one will be probe one probe will be sliding on your actual surface by manually or automatically and there will be a replication of the same on another end so these are pentograph these are approximately straight line mechanism there is a modified scotch russell mechanism it is also approximately straight line mechanism 
So these are different mechanism. Uh, names can be helpful for you. No further details are required. There are two unique mechanisms which are very helpful for us in real world. First is Geneva mechanism. Second is Paul and Ratchet or Ratchet and Paul mechanism. These two are intermittent motion type mechanism. So this uh, Geneva mechanism is having a slotted head a slotted head by rotating a particular degree it is going to create an intermittent motion on driven side by a unit of incrementing 1 and these are mainly used in case of Miller where you are uh, about to rotate your tool by a particular degree then second is Paul and Ratchet mechanism this is quite more useful compared to Geneva mechanism Geneva mechanism has having some constraints or some restriction whereas Paul and Ratchet mechanism best example is your bicycle so you are having Paul and one sided Ratchets are provided so during clockwise mo uh, mechanism uh, sorry clockwise motion this Paul is going to get lifted and will slide along this uh, ratchet's outer surface and you will be permitted clockwise motion whereas in case of anti-clockwise motion this pole is going to get stuck with the ratchet hence it is going to restrict the reverse motion anti-clockwise motion and uh, another usage of this pole and ratchet is in case of clocks where by using this pole we are rotating ratchet an uh, intermittent motion that's why we are getting a intermittent sound of tuck 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 in clocks this is the when you, uh, this is the beauty of pole and ratchet mechanism before completing this chapter we'll conclude with some exceptional examples First is so this was asked in civil services optional paper. So this system is having one fixed link crank connecting rod output shaft or output link and redundantly so looking at the system if you directly go and apply the degree of freedom expression f equals to 3 times l minus 1 minus 2 j minus h where l equals to 5 j equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 f would be 3 times 4 minus 2 times f equals to 12 minus 12 equals to 0 so this system is a frame type system but there is an exception that instead of this type of configuration instead of placing this link 5 in this particular position if I rotate and place it in this position so this is a parallelogram chain or a golden chain two golden chains are arranged side by side and degree of freedom of system this system should be 1 but by using this expression you will end up in finding degree of freedom equals to 0 so 
in such cases if you find that more than two links are having same motion so it's better to eliminate one link and proceed further so by removing this link you will get a simple parallelogram chain or a golden chain and you will end up in finding the degree of freedom equals to 1 this is the only exception thank you for the session thank you